Hello, it's Ashley from Twinkle and I'm delighted to be sharing how to find out the calculation of area and perimeter. Laying a new patio, sowing grass seeds, painting and waterproofing a swimming pool, understanding the size of space within a property are just some of the reasons for calculating area. Putting up a fence or planting a hedge may explain why the perimeter is required. But giving authentic purposeful context for learning early on makes it more meaningful. Take a sticky note and encourage children to measure how many are required to calculate the area of their desk, the wall, a rug, a computer screen. Just before this you may even be estimating and predicting these measurements if this has already been covered in your syllabus. This concrete activity gets everyone on their feet and provides interest as we compare findings. As children record, it's worth highlighting our squared symbol, the little two after the measurement. You can move on to our counting squares resource, which practices the same strategy on shapes on a worksheet. I always say mark off each square or length which has been counted to avoid inaccuracies. As learning progresses, elicit the concept and rules for calculating area. And when it comes to extending that challenge further, we have rectilinear shapes, which can of course be divided one section, can be calculated before calculating another section and then adding the two areas together to make a total. The difference is this time we're not counting the inside, we're counting the outside. Grab meter rulers, trundle wheels and take the children out to the playground, into the school hall and down the corridors to measure boundaries and add all those sides together to create the perimeter. After you've all been on your feet again, return to desks and worksheets. It's simple with a square which has equivalent sides. Simply add the four sides together or multiply one side by four. Can children adapt this for shapes such as rectangles with two pairs of equal sides. Now how can children work out missing values when you're provided most of the information but something's missing? Will any addition or subtraction be required to work out what is missing? This is more relevant with our rectilinear shapes. When children are more confident with these concepts, bring in more problem solving to delve deeper. That's it for now for this really enjoyable area of mathematics learning. Subscribe to our Key Stage 2 Twinkle channel for more videos. Thank you.